here's the first uh, set of postulates that we're going to talk about today. Uh, the first one is a two-point postulate. It says through any two points, there's exactly one line. Then we have the line point postulate. It says a line contains at least two points. All right, so looking at these two, um, if I have any two points, so if I pick a point here and let's put a point there, there's only one way to connect those. There's only one line that's going to connect those two points, these two points. So if we call that one A and that one B, there's going to be just one line, and only one line, that connects those two points. There's only one that I can draw. Okay. This line point postulate says that a line contains at least two points. So it's kind of the converse, um, just saying because I have to have two points to name a line. So the kind of the converse of that, or if I have a line, I have to have at least two points. I have the next one, the line intersection postulate that says if two lines intersect, then their intersection is exactly one point. Okay, so this just simply means that anytime two lines are going to cross, or if they cross, I have a line here, we'll call this one to say M, and we have a line going this direction. And we'll call that N, line N. Okay. If they cross, there is going to be just one point. And we call, we'll just call this point, point C. Okay. All right, here's another one that we have talked about before. It's a three-point postulate that says through any three non-collinear points, there's exactly one plane. And so this postulate simply just means that um, if I have three points that are not on the same line, Okay. There's only going to be one plane that I can draw that's going to contain those three points. Okay, and so I mean we can name these whatever we want. We can say R, S, and T. Okay, the plane point postulate is is very similar. That just says that if I have a plane, I know I have at least three non-collinear points. The the plane line postulate says if two points lie on a plane, then the line containing those points is also on the same plane, or is also on the plane. So we already talked about how if I have two points, we'll just go back to A and B here. If I, there's only one way to connect those two points. Um, they're also have to, they have to be in some kind of a plane. There's got to be some surface that they're contained in. Well, if those lines, or if those points are on the plane, on this plane, we'll call this one plane, I don't know, let's go S. Okay. If these two points are on plane S, then the line that contains those two points, I'm going to call this line N, okay, then the line N has to also be in plane S because the points are in plane S. Okay, uh, the plane intersection postulate says if two planes intersect, and their intersection as a line. Okay, so what that means to kind of draw this, I have to draw a parallelogram going, say, one direction, and then I'll draw one coming up, say, this way vertically. Okay, and we'll call this one, uh, let's call it T, and we can call this one S. Okay, so I have two planes that cross. Their intersection is going to be a line, and so the line would be kind of going from this point to that point. It will be cutting through those two planes. Okay, so this line, we could call this line L, I guess. So line L would be the intersection of plane S and plane T. Alright, here's example one. It says state the postulate illustrated by the diagram. So we've got an example 1A and a 1B. Uh, for A, um, you have to look at it. Okay, if I have two lines intersecting, then their intersection is a point. Okay, so that is going to be the um, that's going to be the line intersection postulate. Um, this 1B says if this would be a, an example or an illustration of two planes intersecting. So if you have two planes intersecting and their intersection is a line, that's referring to the plane intersection postulate. Okay, so this would be an example of how I give you a picture. You have to tell me what postulate it is referring to. Okay, example two says sketch a diagram showing line TV intersecting segment PQ at point W. So that segment TW is congruent to segment WV. 
Okay, so, um, let's get some diagrams from online TV. So we'll draw a line here, and we'll label two points. We'll have T here, and we'll put V there on that side. And then I have this line intersecting this segment PQ. So um, I have to draw an intersection, and since it's a segment, I'm going to have P on this side and a Q on this side. Okay. Now, at point W, so this point right here would be W. And then so that segment TW is congruent to segment WV. Okay, so to show that, remember that we use the tick marks to show that those are congruent. So this, looking at this diagram, I would be able to say that segment TW is congruent to segment VW or WV, and that W would be the midpoint of that segment. Now, it doesn't mean anything about PW or WQ. WQ, excuse me, we don't know anything about those two. We're just referring to, we're given this information that TW is congruent to segment WV. So really, if you wanted to, just to kind of illustrate, I could put P right here. Okay. It just says I have a segment that's intersecting this line TV. Example 3 says which of the following segments cannot be assumed from the diagram? Points A, B, and F are collinear. Points E, B, and D are collinear. Line AB is perpendicular to plane S. Line CD is perpendicular to plane T. And the last one says line AF intersects line BC at point B. Okay, so here we have to interpret this drawing. And we have to see um, what we can and cannot assume, what's given to us, what's not given to us. So this first one points A, B, and F are collinear. Okay, so... Um, you have to be careful with these dotted lines. That means that it's behind um, this plane, so I can't see it. So like this dotted line right here, that's behind um, this plane S right here. So this plane S is kind of sitting above that line right there, the surface. Okay. So I have A, B, and F. That is a straight line going through. It's cutting through. It's dotted right here because it's going below this sheet, this plane S right here. So this one would be true. I can assume that. Now points E, B, and D are collinear. Here's E, B, and D. Now uh, there's not a line drawn there, so I can't assume because of the way the picture is drawn that I could draw a straight line and connect those three. So this one I cannot assume. All right, next we have line AB is perpendicular. This upside down capital T means perpendicular to plane S. So here's my line AB. And then this red um, square right there, symbol, means that it is perpendicular. Okay, so that is given to us. We can know that based on the diagram. Now, line CD, which is going this way, okay, is that perpendicular to plane T? Okay, there is no symbol or drawing in there to indicate that, so I cannot assume that. And next we have line AF intersects line BC. So AF is going this way, BC is going this way. And when two lines intersect, they, if they intersect, they intersect at exactly one point. So this point B is the intersection point, according to the way the picture is drawn. So this one would be something that we could assume.